Namaste Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer, back to give you guys a message. Hi my beautiful Aries, my baby bosses, my kings and queens. Welcome to the video. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> Let's get right in. This message is for the Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, North, and Venus. This is for any Aries cross watchers. Welcome. Okay, if you're dealing with an Aries, this message might resonate with you. All right, take what message resonates with you and leave the rest. But I'm going to start off by saying that um, there's somebody that's that's currently in your energy and they're in some sort of weird competition with you guys. You probably don't even know this person's in competition with you guys. Most of you guys <clears throat> don't know this person's in competition with you guys. But then there's some of you guys that actually do know this person's in competition with you guys. So... You know, you could care less. I feel like whoever you are, you're unbothered. You could care less. You're not worried about this person and their little uh, competition they have going on with you. They're always trying to one-up you or outdo you. Somebody's trying to outdo you, outshine you. But this person's about to lose their partner. This person's about to go through some sort of breakup or ending with their person. Okay? And this person that I'm talking about, this could be a karmic that's been hating on you guys for a long time, male or female. This is somebody that compares themselves to you. This is somebody that really wants to like uh, be like a carbon copy of you because this person might be dealing with somebody from your past. This could be somebody that's dealing with somebody from your past or this is somebody that um, tried to interfere in your connection in the past or this is somebody that's just competing with you online or somebody you don't know. This is an obsessed fan of yours. All right, for somebody, you could be an influencer, social media, you could be very popular on social media, and there's somebody here that's like, <clears throat> this person is pretty much like, this person, he or she is a fan of yours, but they troll you, and um, they compete with you, and they're triggered by your light, okay, this weirdo. If this is not somebody you got online that's competing with you, for some of you guys, this is a karmic that's dealing with somebody that you dealt with in the past, Okay. And I'm going to get into this message. I'm going to write something down so I don't forget in my notebook. Okay, so I'm going to get right into this message for you guys. And I'm going to go into my, my, my book, uh, The 365 Days of Prayer. Okay, 365 Days of Prayer. It says for women, but it could be for women or men. I don't know why it says that, but I bought the book. Well, the book was bought for me. It was a gift. And it's 365 Days of Prayer. I love this book. And this is the book I've been reading to you guys. And Spirit's been guiding me to what message to read to you guys in this book. And today, Spirit has chosen this message. You have a beautiful future and you have a powerful voice. Okay? So something significant about July, July 4th. Something could be happening on July 4th here, or somebody's born around July, July 4th. Something happened last year around July 4th, and something's coming full circle for someone right now. Okay, there's something about July 14th or July 15th. Somebody's birthday could be those days. <clears throat> you could be dealing with this person. Um, somebody could be cancer energy. Somebody could, you could be dealing with a cancer Okay, let's get into this message. Uh, the Most High God is guaranteeing you that you have a beautiful future, Aries, okay? Because uh, the, the level of destruction, okay? The level of destruction that somebody has caused in your life, all right? This person that created a soul tie to you, uh, a soul bond or a soul tie, this person that always pulls on your energy, no matter how far you are from this person, no matter who this person is with, they're still have they still have a you still have a soul tie with this person or they created one and um you've been working on um clearing out your energy whoever you are you detach this person completely out of your energy by doing some sort of uh, cord cutting meditations healing meditations activations of your gifts so you have completely severed a cord between you and a narcissist from your past you have okay this person did the most in your energy. But now you have a beautiful future because you have uh, released a lot of energies that were binding you, that were keeping you stuck. You have worked through these energies. 
So now you have a beautiful future ahead of you, and there's a narcissist from your past that's, that's trying to come into your energy, but they can't. They're blocked. You got this person blocked on everything. So they're trying to come up in your dream state. They're trying to talk to you in the dream state now. This person somehow wants to communicate with you so they could somehow get up in your energy and create this soul tie again because this person feels and knows that you released them, that you severed them from your energy. This person could be currently dealing with a karmic as well. Okay, no eyes has seen, no ears has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. Corinthians chapter 2 verse 9. Okay, and you actually have a lot of love for the Most High. You have a lot of belief in God, and you um, believe that if you just heal yourself and um, surrender uh, whatever people have done to you or anyone has done to you in your life, if you just surrender it and leave it with the Most High God and, and, and go heal your heart and live your best life, and you love the Most High and you have faith in Him, then you are protected. God has prepared a major blessing for you guys. Do you have a beautiful future? Okay, and a voice. The next message says, uh, this says, beautiful future, and then this part says, a voice. Okay, so somebody here, you got a beautiful voice, you got a powerful voice, your words are powerful, okay, you're very gifted individual, somebody here, you could, you could be dealing with somebody who's a performer, or somebody who's a musician, um, and, or this is you, with a beautiful voice, uh, you can make music, a musician here, he delivers the needy when they call. The poor and those who have no helper. Psalms 72, 12. Okay, so um, chapter 72, verse 12. He delivers the needy when they call. The poor and those who have no helper. So, Father, there's someone out there with no voice. Someone who has never known hope. Who has no idea you exist. Wow. Let alone how much you love them. Let my voice stand for his today. Let my hope be hers. Infuse the helpless with peace that makes the un, un, unendurable more than just endurable. Give them hope, God, that their situation will change. Send your angels and send your servants, Lord, to these people. I will never meet who suffer in ways I cannot imagine. Take away their hopelessness. Shine light where none, none has shunned. Bring help where none has gone. Show them your glory. Wow, I got the chills while reading this. <clears throat> because somebody here was feeling hopeless or helpless. Okay, because this person didn't have a belief in the Most High God. This person just believed in manipulating energies, just believed in, in um, doing things to get what they want and they please. This person could have been the type to be a dark empath. This person could have been hearing voices in their head, but it wasn't of light. It was a dark entity that was speaking to this person. This person had created like a dark entity attachment to them because they never prayed to God. They never knew God. They never believed in a God. This person thought that they were God or um, they just worshipped money and things that were like materialistic. Somebody has awakened to God, okay, that God is real, that God exists, that he is, has been working in your favor, that he's been protecting you, okay, this person has, okay, so um, you yourself could have been praying for somebody, asking God to help this person, to bring them to the light, if you've been, <clears throat> if you have prayed for someone in your life, that God brings this person to the light, that God can humble their heart, that God could show them the way because this person was very resentful, scorn, or bitter towards you for a long time. This person held on to a grudge for a long time. This person did things to try to keep you guys attached, to trauma bond you. Somebody wanted to trauma bond somebody else. Well, you you know what? This person is having a sudden awakening, a realization, and this person is understanding that God is real, that there really is a God, Okay. Lord, I get anxious about the future. I try to imagine it and it seems so vague and uncertain. All blurry around the edges. I know you know and I know it is good. So much better than anything I am even capable of conjuring up. This beautiful future is your promise to those who love you. And oh, how I love you. Forgiving, Forgive my anxiety. God, I don't want to dishonor you. And I do trust you, Lord, with my life. I love that it is beyond my imagining because what I imagine is pretty great. I'm, ex I'm excited to get there and see what you've done. Okay, so whoever you are, you might be having anxiety. You might be fearing the future. You don't know what's going to happen. You could have a pending court case. You could be facing eviction. You could be um, 
you could have lost your job or you feel like you're going to get fired because you feel like people are coming for you and they're targeting you. But just know that there's no need to fear that if God allows something to end, it's because he has something better prepared for you up ahead. So all you got to do is have that faith in the most high and you don't have to have anxiety. Okay, somebody around you could be having a lot of anxiety because of what they've done. And they know what they've done in your energy. They obviously know that they messed up when it comes to you. Some of you guys could be seeing 11-11 a lot, okay? And then, um, I'm going to get into this message. So you guys are dealing with a karmic poison ivy. And you guys are dealing with a Devo, okay? This narcissist masculine energy and this karmic feminine energy that uh, does it all for clout, that's very materialistic, that likes to compete with you guys, that likes to, uh, this person likes to, like, make, uh, make, like, this person wants a lot of attention, so they make it obvious that they're doing something for clout or they're doing something for attention, all right? This could be, like, somebody that, um, has a social media page or whatever, or somebody could have, like, social media, they're online a lot, but, you know, this could be somebody that likes to show their body or likes to show their breasts or they like to show their cleavage or they have to show a little bit of skin in order to get attention. All right. Whoever you are, this is not who you are. You don't have to show no body or no skin to get attention. All you got to do is be yourself and you get attention naturally. And somebody hates the fact that you get attention and you don't have to show your body. You don't have to do the most. OK, you don't have to do whatever this person does for attention. And if this is somebody that, that's dealing with what, like somebody that you used to be with, somebody that you had a relationship with, somebody that you met, somebody that you could have went on a date with, all of a sudden things ended with this individual because this person uh, was attached to some, some karmic still. This person still had attachment to a karmic. You didn't have no idea about this, but somehow this karmic got this masculine to go back towards this person and ghost you, or somehow, you know, things ended between you guys and they ended up with this karmic that they were already seeing while you guys were still together, okay? Because this karmic did some sort of love spell on this person to get them to come towards them and be attracted. Even though this karmic likes to wear, like, a lot of makeup, likes to uh, dress revealing or whatever they do to get attention, okay? I'm picking up on, like, a Jezebel spirit. What I picked up on when I was telling this message that really made me crack up before I started recording. I was cracking up, guys. Like, I was so, it was, like, tickling my stomach. That's how funny it was to me. Okay, because I don't get nobody, I don't, I never got my body worked on and I never will. Okay, my body's natural. Okay, I, I believe in natural bodies, natural uh, remedies. I believe in um, holistic healing, um, supplements, okay, plant extracts. And just losing weight like that, getting your body in shape by exercise, that's what I believe in. Some of you guys could do the same. Some of you guys got beautiful natural bodies, male or female. Some of you guys work out. Some of you guys are going to the gym or you're doing it at home. And you look amazing and you look younger for your age. And you got this natural beauty because you're a god or goddess, you know, reincarnated from a past life. And there's somebody here that's been in competition with you guys. And I'm picking up on a karmic female here. Okay, that has a Brazilian butt lift. This person has a BBL. <laughs> so there's a karmic kid that has a Brazilian butt lift. This could be you or this person, but I'm picking up on the person that has this BBL. It stinks. And that's why I was cracking up before I had to calm down before I recorded this video because there's a poison ivy out here with a butt lift that stinks. They have a BBL that stinks. Like literally... Go to the doctor, go check your BBL, and fix it because that thing stinks and it's rotten. Somebody's BBL is rotten, and that's why I was laughing. And this is somebody that could be competing against you guys or coming for you or doing the most to get somebody's attention. But so I heard somebody say, uh, hey, I heard somebody say... <laughs> I heard somebody say, babe, baby, did you get the Summer's Eve spray for your butt? Like, somebody needed to buy Summer's Eve spray for their butt because their BBL stinks. Oh, my God. I can't. I can't. I'm going to keep on going with this message. All right. So, what I channeled here last night. I channeled these messages last night. And it's not a coincidence that last night before I went to bed, I got all these messages. I wrote them down and then I did my meditation and I fell asleep. But... In my dream state, it was very active last night. There was a lot of people 
in my dream state. A lot of people that I didn't even know. There was like like three or four females in my dream I didn't even know. And these females were feeling pressed about me. And I walked into the place and I had a bag. Like I literally had a purse. And I don't know if it, what kind of purse it was, but it was a nice purse, okay? So I had a bag and I was in this house. And it was like a whole bunch of females were in that house. I didn't even know who they were. But that every time I put my bag down, they kept trying to grab my bag and go through my bag and look through my things. And I was getting pissed because they kept going through my bag every time I put it down. I'm like, what the heck? And so I was about to fight with these chicks in my dream. I was literally in their faces. And um, I woke up right on time out of my dream. Like, woo I sat up in my bed and just sat there. These karmics were messing with me in my dream, trying to take my bag, trying to take my phone, looking through my purse, and then saying that they didn't do it, trying to gaslight me. It was weird. Okay, so whoever you are, you're dealing with a few karmic females, and they're pressed about you, and they could be coming up in your dreams too, okay? But there's something about somebody looking through somebody's bag, somebody's purse, looking in their purse for their private information, trying to get something in your bag or your purse. So whoever you are, if you like to wear bags, because I heard bag lady, right? If you like to have bags, big bags, purses, and you go places, and you go out to eat with somebody, and be careful if you leave your bag down, and this person's looking through your bag. Okay, because I had a dream about that. And somebody's trying to steal somebody's phone. So be careful where you put your bag down because somebody wants to swipe your phone, your cell phone. All right, so they can get into your private information. Hmm. Okay, anyways, the dream turned into another dream. And then all of a sudden, my ex shows up in my dream trying to have a conversation with me. Tried to block my throat chakra just now, too. Trying to have a conversation with me in the dream state, asking me questions when I had nothing to say to this person. Okay, so this is the message I got last night, and then the dream that I had last night was, was really weird. Okay, so somebody that you're dealing with is living with a karmic while checking up on you. Mm -mm -mm. Somebody you're dealing with, or somebody that's dealing with this person, this could be you or someone that's around you. Somebody's living with a karmic, somebody's living with somebody here, this poison ivy chick with the butt lift or the BBL, whatever. It doesn't have to be. But somebody here is living with a karmic while they're checking on you. They're obsessing over who's coming towards you. This person's obsessing over who you're with, who you're dating, who you're dealing with, or who you're with, or who's coming towards you, right? So somebody's obsessing over you right now. And even if this person acts unbothered, even if they act like they don't care, this person keeps bringing you up to the karmic that they're with. Even though this karmic put a love spell on this individual, uh, it's it's worn off. This karmic's love spell isn't working anymore. This person isn't, isn't even attracted to this karmic anymore because all this person could do is obsess over you and keep watching you or checking up on you online. Hmm. But this karmic recently did another love spell on this person, male or female, you could be dealing with anybody. You could be a male or female watching. But there's a karmic in your life that put a love spell on your person or on your ex in order for them to come towards them and keep coming backwards. But now this... <clears throat> they keep trying to block my throat chakra. Dang. So now this, this must be going on. Seriously. This karmic recently put a love spell again on this person. This could be your ex. This could be somebody that you dated that uh, ghosted you or they're not responding or you guys stopped talking because you found out somebody else was involved. It was like it was like a love triangle, or like a third party situation that this person had you in. But anyways, damn, it's backfired. The love spell backfired on the karmic because now this person's obsessing over you even more. This person's become more obsessed with you and they are paying this karmic no mind. This karmic is pressed. OK, and this person got caught checking on your social media, too. Um, this person is really feeling isolated from your energy. Like I said, it's making this person lash out on the person that they're dealing with, living with, or around. Someone is pregnant here, okay? And somebody got somebody pregnant and now they're stuck in a connection because this karmic had a feeling that this person was going to come towards you so they got pregnant, okay? Or they got this person pregnant, okay? This could be a male or female you're dealing with. Somebody got somebody pregnant or somebody got pregnant on purpose in order to keep another person stuck. Okay, somebody got somebody pregnant on purpose to keep them stuck or they got pregnant on purpose, male or female. And this is their worst nightmare. Okay, because this person's finding out that you got success, that you have 
uh, your own business or that you got opportunities or that you're glowing up or that you're doing well and that you're with your partner or somebody's coming to give you this offer. This person is going insane, okay? Because they know you're coming into union with somebody and you are now, whether you're with this person now you're with them and they found out you're with somebody and th this person's losing it or this person that you're meant to be with is coming in and you're going to be with this person but somehow... This individual knows that you're about to get an offer. Somebody's coming towards you with an offer they just know. Whether this person is a witch or warlock, whether they're getting readings done on you, whether they're watching tarot or whatever, this person knows this. This this person could be into spell work or both of them are. This person and the karmic they're dealing with. Okay, so you could be seeing butterflies. You could be seeing white feathers or birds. You could be seeing bunnies or rabbits. Okay, let's get into this message. This is the King of Wands in the reverse and the Knight of Cups in the reverse. King of Wands in reverse, Knight of Cups in reverse. All right, so this is somebody who's impulsive, who's ruthless, who has high expectations. This person feels entitled to your energy. They're unpredictable. All right, so be mindful. This person is like trying to come towards you. Somebody's very moody right now, dis experiencing disappointments. Okay, this person is very jealous and untrustworthy, unreliable, and unpredictable. Here it goes again. So this person could be younger than you or they're just immature. There's like, there could be two individuals here that are in competition for your attention or your energy or two individuals here that lost you that are staying steady, steady watching and spying on you. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Mm. Protect your energies, divine feminine and divine masculines. Because you have a brand new cycle coming in. You have a, a completion of an old cycle because you six of swords somebody's energy for good. And they're feeling some type of way. Okay, the Capricorn, the devil energy in the reverse. You release you released your, your you released your doubts. You released your self-limiting beliefs. And now this person feels some some type of resentment towards you, right? Because it's it's like you don't even, you're not even the same person anymore. You don't even want anything to do with this individual anymore. There's uh, somebody's very controlling and domineering. You guys could be dealing with another Aries, okay? Or somebody here that's in your energy. They could have Aries in their chart, the Emperor in reverse. This person is very domineering and controlling, all right? It didn't get them nowhere because somebody's having a lot of arguments in their household with this karmic. Things are happening in this person's life, all right? This karmic's threatening to expose this person's secrets, or this person's threatening to leave the karmic. There's a lot going on here, all right? Because you have a brand new cycle and you're moving away and all hell's breaking loose in this person's life now, all right? Because you became the queen of swords, king of swords, all right? Male or female, and now their Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. This person wanted to block your love life. They wanted to block your money. They wanted to block, you know, your success here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is here. Every sign is here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So there's somebody that is watching you and curious about you because they want to come towards you with this offer, King of Cups, in the upright. This is somebody that's emotionally, that's really emotionally balanced. This person is a supportive leader. So there's somebody that wants to support you. Maybe you help this masculine somehow with a message. Or maybe this person admired your strength. Maybe this person knows everything you've been through. Maybe this person seen you go from nothing to from like nothing to something. Okay? Maybe this person just is a supporter of yours and they want to come and gift you with something. You could have helped this individual. This person that I'm talking about, they want to come towards you. This uh, person from the past with this karmic with a stinky BBL. <laughs> okay, this person's like, they trying to ruin something. Somebody wears wigs or hair pieces, and this is what you're dealing with. Somebody is a masculine with a bald head. They like to wear hats a lot. Somebody can have a bald head. They like to wear hats. All right, but you're a destined healer. Regardless of what, you're a destined healer. Okay, and they know this. All right, and you got a lot of men, you got a lot of, of admirers, uh, but like some of your some of your admirers, um, they try too hard to be just like you, and that's not cool. Your ancestors don't like that. That's what I heard. You sometimes meet people, they admire you, but then they try to be just like you, and and you got that effect on people. I guess that's crazy. What's going on here, spirit? What's going on? What is this message? All right, you're about to be seen in the spotlight or you're seen in the spotlight. You're a destined healer. 
Somebody could have blue eyes. You were the other person you're dealing with. It could be you or Poison Ivy or Debo. Okay. Yep, you have a fair-skinned female with blue eyes. This could be you. You were meant to be seen in the spotlight. This could be somebody you're dealing with. Somebody has green eyes, and they're spying on you. Green or blue eyes, fair-skinned female. That's what I got so far here. And there's a dark-skinned male, okay? So some of you guys could be dealing with a dark-skinned male, or, you, or this is you. Somebody here was been seeking revenge, the letter D or H. Somebody's house is being haunted now. This person's afraid to go to sleep or go in their house because they're seeing sh dark uh, entities or shadows. Things are moving, falling, lights are flickering. Somebody feels haunted in their home. Clear your home, clear your space if you're feeling this way. Brown eyes. Somebody has brown eyes. Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody has a different nationality than you, green eyes, okay? Somebody has green eyes. Major glow up, boss mode, date night. Somebody wants to ask you out on a date. This is happening and this person knows it, okay? This person knows you're going on dates or you're about to, okay? This person is obsessed and depressed. Trust me, somebody gave you guys a cursed gift. Okay, so I'm doing a special because one of my subscribers asked me to do this. I'm doing a special uh, probably for a couple days. If any of you guys have an object in your home or anything like that and you want to know if it is cursed, all you have to do is contact me um, and I will let you know. For $10, I will give you a small reading on the object for $10 and let you know if it's cursed. So if you guys are interested, reach out to me. Um, and that is per request of my beautiful Soul, Soul, Soul Tribe family subscriber asked me to do this. All right, my love, so somebody lied on paper and they got exposed. This is your reading, dark-skinned female, you are them. This is your reading. If this helped, let me know. Comment down below. I love you guys. If you need a personal, reach out to me. All right, if you're interested in my products, let me know. Till the next time, namaste.